Hello, welcome. My name is Renita Dindial, and I will be taking you through today's lesson, which is a short story called The Village Washer by Samuel Sullivan. Today, we will examine the story and identify the characters. We will enjoy the setting of the story and we will examine the role that superstitious beliefs play in the story. About the author, Samuel Selvan is Trinidadian. He has won many awards for his creative writing. His story, The Village Washer, is taken from his book of short stories called Ways of Sunlight. Setting. The physical setting of the story is San Sushi, the village in Trinidad and Tobago. The social setting is post-World War 1957. Here's a map to help you identify the physical setting of the story. Here's a picture to help you envision the social setting of the story. Characters. The first character we will be looking at today is Ma Lambi. What are some of the things that we have learned about Ma Lambi in today's story? We have read that she was the village's first washer, and at one point she was their only washer. We've learned that she grew careless about her washing, and she even raised the price. She lost all of her customers to Ma Prokop. And as she lost her customers to Ma Prokop, she started up a rumor among the villagers about Ma Prokop being an Obia woman. We also learn that quite ironically, Ma Lambi fell a victim to her own plot. And in the end, she was driven out of the village by the villagers. Ma Proka. She is an ambitious woman who came to San Sushi all the way from Donkey City. She came with the intentions of taking Ma Nambi's job. She has heard, of course, all the rumors spreading from village to village of Ma Lambi getting careless with the washing. So Ma Prokop came to San Sushi with quite the prospect. When Ma Lambi started spreading rumors about Ma Prokop, Ma Prokop prepared herself. She prepared to defend herself against Ma Lambi's accusations. And in the end, we found out that Ma Prokop via some very peculiar means, defeated Ma Lambi. Not only did she take over her washing, but she ended up being the washerwoman who stayed and served the village while Ma Lambi was driven out of the village. Let us examine the story and answer the following questions. Give details from the story that tell us about the villagers' deep belief in evil spirits. I will start you off with one. At nights, they related the peculiar sounds of the dogs howling and the eerie birds. They related those to Obia being worked in the village. Can you identify a few more on your own? Go right ahead.
our next question. Why did the villagers miss Ma Prokop's chance as she gave Ma Lambi the test? The villagers came to Malambi with their own preconceived ideas about what is happening. We as the readers are treated to the truth because of the way the writer narrates the story. What have you learned from the presentation of good and evil in the story? I would like for you to share this with me. Examine the facts. Who is the good village washer? Can you decide?
Who is the bad village washer? And who really is the one that's working Ubia? Now, one of the most important things I would like you to start doing as you read stories and learn about the characters, I would like you to start forming your own opinions. And it is very helpful for you to write this down. What is your opinion about the villagers? Which one of the village washers do you prefer? It is very important for you to answer these two questions for our next class. Thank you for joining us today. That's it, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Do continue reading and look for Samuel Selvan's book, The Ways of Sunlight. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>